What's going on, my beautiful people from YouTube? Let's talk about the most commonly used single board computer in the Web3 space. We are talking Raspberry Pi today. We're going to cover a few different aspects of it. First, what can you use if you can't get a hold of a Raspberry Pi? Because, well, they've been sold out for three years and it's very hard for you to get a hold of them, which made me think, who is using a lot of these? Ooh, helium miners, tons of them. There's got to be something there. So I'm going to decide to put on my overalls and do some CoffeeZilla investigative reporting, I guess you can say, and see what we uncover. But we're doing it on a budget. We're going to use ChatGPT to do the, the research for us because I just don't have a team behind me to do all the research. So we'll, we'll use AI to kind of do the legwork for us. But I've been in the space for over a decade, which is actually cool because the Raspberry Foundation has been around for a decade. And I seen it grow. I seen it explode and just a lot of new people kind of jumping on board and saying, yeah, I want that board, pun intended, because it does a lot of cool stuff. And I can tell you that they've sold over 40 million of these units. It's been an incredible ride for them and they're just so versatile. I mean, you're talking about a computer that can be turned into an emulator. It can be a media center. It can be a DNS blocker, like an ad blocker or like a, a you know, just track things that are tracking you on the Internet. It can really do a lot for your safety and security. You can use it as a remote VPN. There's just a lot of functions. I mean, you can even use it as a full out desktop if you really wanted to or mobile computer. It is very flexible, which is also why it's been, you know, out of stock for the last three years. And when you do try to get these, it's hard and you're paying an arm and a leg. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The Raspberry Pi Foundation has um, a vision to make this thing available for everybody. They want to, you know, um, make this available for people to learn, for students to grow when it comes to the tech industry. So they made this thing just recently, when I say recently, 2019, um, the Raspberry Pi 4, and it says it's starting from just $35. What an incredible price for something so powerful. And if you go to their, you know, store, you're going to see that the lowest price one you can get is the $45, but you really can't get it because they're out of stock and it does not matter what type you try to look for. If it's the budget kit, it's going to be sold out. If it's the starter kit, it's also going to be sold out. There's no way for you to get these online. But there is if you go to sites like eBay. But every time I've looked at these, you're always paying more than $100 for a device that should cost $35 MSRP. And it just doesn't seem fair that people are doing this. And again, these are a lot of them are pre owned which just blows my mind or open box devices. So let's talk about what's actually going on in this environment. The Raspberry Pi is a really nifty device and it does some really cool things. It is the gold standard, like I mentioned. But anytime somebody develops something really cool, there's always competition on the horizon as well. And I love competition because it brings out innovation and hopefully lower prices if there's more people producing something. And that's what we've seen with competitors of the Raspberry Pi. Now, the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B is the flagship, is the latest thing that they are selling right now. And it's supposed to have that MSRP of $35, but you just can't find it at that price. I just want you to see exactly what this unit is so that we can take a look at a couple of different ones. And I'll show you where my train of thought is on this, but there are options out there. It is a really nice unit. I gotta say that having two HDMI 2.0s that can run 4K at 60 hertz is great. There's not a lot of people that can do that out there, um, but you can't get this device. It does have limitations, and that's the problem, the limitation of actually being able to acquire it. And there are other options out there from all sorts of fruits that you can name. My go to when I can acquire a Raspberry Pi has definitely been the Orange Pi 3 LTS. It is comparable to what the Raspberry Pi 4 can do. Um, it does have the shortcoming when it comes to the HDMI. It only has one HDMI output. It can only do one screen as opposed to two at that 4K. But the Wi-Fi connectivity is a little bit better than the Raspberry Pi. Now, this is the closest thing. Again, it is MSRP at $35. I doubt it you're going to be able to get it for that much. I will put a link down in the description if you're looking to acquire these so you can actually check these out. But there is another one that I came across that a lot of people seem to love, and it is almost double the price. But again, it's comparable when you're trying to buy these because you can't get anything at MSRP these days. It's the Rock Pi, and we've seen these from Nebra. Um, they've started using Rock Pies on their, you know, helium miners, 
and it tried to do something a little bit different where they have two of the A72 cores and then they have four of the A53 cores, which they're more efficient. And the issue is that the, the it just doesn't perform like it's supposed to. It's not as fast as you would expect, even with that DDR4 memory. Um, it does have that dual output as well, which is a really nice feature. However, it does come short because it is a, you know, one displays at 4K, the second display is only going to be able to output 2K. So it's a give and take. Again, it's trying to find things that will work for your uh, specific need. Another one that I really, really like is been the, the Linkstar H68K. Now, this is a C device and it is a really good looking device. I got to say, like they did a lot for $130 being able to get as much as you do with this is incredible. And I think the highlight of this one is going to be the Ethernet connectivity. Having two dedicated 2.5 gig Ethernet ports is incredible. Not only that, it has two additional gigabit Ethernet ports. So you have four Ethernet ports on this device plus Wi-Fi 6. It is more than you would ever need. I mean, you can really use this to your heart's content. It can be a, your router for your entire home or a small business. It can just do so much because of the amount of ports on here. If you're trying to run a, a NAS setup, it's a great device for that. So keep keep in mind that this is something that is way above and beyond what the Raspberry Pi 4 is capable of doing, but it also comes with a higher MSRP. And this is where it clicked for me. C does have the ability to get Raspberry Pis. This is super interesting. Who else has been able to get Raspberry Pis inside of the, the Helium world? Let me change it up. Let's go CoffeeZilla style. Like I said, let's do some lights, some suspenders and a retro mic on screen that you guys can see. Now this is better and way more appropriate. And do I think I'm going to end up on Joe Rogan for showing you this? I don't think so, but it helps break the tension because what I'm about to show you might blow your mind. I'm going to show you Helium right now, the network that we've all come to love and hate that's made us a lot of money and made us lose a lot of money. And I'm going to show you what's really behind it or better, who's really behind it. Let's take a look at the makers inside of the IoT here, and you're going to see that you have uh, I want to focus on the ones that are using these devices that are using the Raspberry Pis. So Rack Wireless with almost 60,000 devices Then we have SenseCap with 150 thousand devices if we go down we should be able to see some more right because cow chip is also run by rack miners in the back end of things so there are over 300,000 miners that are all part of this raspberry pi junction and i'm going to focus on the raspberry pi junction here because there is way more that i could uncover and show you but let's focus on that specific one